Hey guys, today I'm gonna play a game called Slam Ball. It's a pinball simulation dating back to 1986. Uh, the company that made that game is called Americana. Americana. I think it might be Mastertronic. I don't know. Okay, anyway, so yeah, the, so the pinball table is supposed to be inside some kind of monster. So that's the, the whole premise of the game, but actually it's just a pinball machine. So here are the instructions. Uh, we could go through all this stuff, but I don't think I will. So let's get out of here. And let's go directly to playing the game. Let me grab my joystick. Yeah, so the controls are very easy. Left, right on the joystick correspond to the flippers. Uh, five balls, one player. Yeah, that sounds right. Oh, yeah, it's, it says 1984, so it's an earlier game then. It's not from 86. Interesting. Alright, let's play. So here is the, the playing field. There are three or four levels of flippers. So that's the bottom level. So to release the ball, which is currently on the right ramp, you have to pull down on the joystick and then you press uh, you press the fire button. And then left right for the flippers. I'm guessing that you have to hit all the targets and go through all the uh, passageway, the rollovers, etc., etc., like on the real, like on the real pinball machine. So right away, I can see that the physics of the ball is very good, very good. The physics of the flippers that's a different story it's a bit strange it's not bad for a 1984 game it's not bad so you have five balls and I already lost one seven more Yeah, the flippers are a little bit strange. Oops. <laughs> that was strange. I like the like the bumpers. They're cool. That's a weird configuration. Three pli th three flippers. That's a bit strange. I don't know about you, but I'm used to trapping the ball. Uh, it's a bit weird. I mean, it's not bad, but it's really not that great. I know there are other simulation, pinball simulation on the C64. And I, I got to admit. And here's the bug. Well, let me restart that. Okay, I'm back. Don't you hate it when something like that happened? A bug. How oh, dare they? So let's redo the whole thing. Five balls of fun. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know uh, about other games, other pinball games on the C64. I know there's like that magic thing, and I know about two others. I think. I think I tried them all, but I'm not sure. I might have missed one. So if you know of a good one, 
with the good physics well, let me know because I will I will definitely try it because I love pinball For 1984, maybe that was good, but uh, it's really not that great. I mean, the physics are not too too bad, but it's just not that interesting a game. Ooh. There's even a, a game where you can build your own table, pinball construction set, which I don't think I ever played. I don't know if it's any good. I would have to try that, I don't know. I just don't like the idea of having to build my own table. that thing is that that's moving at the top I don't know if you have to you're supposed to hit it with the ball probably maybe it's a good thing maybe it's a bad thing I don't know ah, weird. I don't see myself playing this game more than fi five minutes, to be honest. It's really not that interesting. I don't say it's a bad game in terms of uh, programming. I mean, it's not bad. But in terms of, you know, re reali realization, the way they did it, it's not bad. It's just not that interesting. What you do is it hit targets and try to avoid the ball from coming down the drain. Just too many targets on top of that. And this thing, annoying. they could have put like a, a gate that closes that thing I think that's what you have on a real pinball you have a gate that closes so that it doesn't go back down the chute oh man I don't know what that thing is on the left oh boy why did they put that thing? Useless. <laughs> oh, 
Punk, punk. Yeah, the, the physics of the of the flipper is really not good. Very strange. There's no way you can aim correctly with this thing. Oh no, again. Just want the ball to drain. Yeah, I don't know what those things are. The two things on the right that are moving. Level completed. Excellent. Wow, I didn't even know. They were leveled. Wow. Isn't that great? I like the colors. Very soft. I mean, the ball physics is amazing. So I guess when you reach a certain point level, you can the level changes. Although I'm not, I'm not sure what's the difference between the levels except the color, the color scheme. Ah. Trying to go through that uh, left ramp. I'm trying to aim. Oh, oh I got five balls. Okay, I think I'm gonna do one more and that's it. I think I'm gonna stop. It's very hard to go to aim and get up the ramp on the left. Oh, come on. Okay, one more and that's it. and then stop okay let's go up the ramp on the left ah. Okay, I'm done. Okay, so I'm done. Yeah, so Zap gives it a 96% score overall. I think that's a bit, that's a bit much. I'm gonna give it a, a five, maybe a six out of ten. I think that's a more reasonable score. But for 1984, for 1984, that's a pretty good game, I gotta say. Okay, so if you like this kind of video, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll make more. Uh, in the meantime, I'll see you around. Bye-bye.